Oh my god, there are two of eight players in the queue. That's unbelievable. We're going to be waiting here for like an hour. I got dumped a few days before finals week, my senior year of college. Well, that's What is that, like 30 years ago? Get over it, man. God. I was dumped back in 1974. It was uh, the most traumatic experience of my life. Have you gotten over it? I'm not even 30 yet. Yeah, well, you will be. So you better hurry up and get over it, buddy. You're not getting any younger, my friend. You're, you're the whole butt. <laughs> oh, we have a good time. All right. Sorry about the delay, guys. We're going to look like we're going to fire right about mm, now. Dang it. Usually works. Oh, now. All right. Ancient Tomb. Easy pick. Easy game. Easy life. Everybody's Ancient Tombing. Yeah, I don't think you, there's nothing even remotely close to Ancient Tomb in this pack, so I'm just going to take an Ancient Tomb. I like that we're friendly enough to make fun of each other. Yeah, we can do that as long as I don't use your name ever because, you know, anonymity is key on the internet. I'm going to take, I like big snappers. Signet Willing would be great. I like, I like Glint Sleeve Siphoner. I like Snapcaster Mage. I even like Hostage Taker. Hmm. Hostage Shaker puts us into two colors. And Snapcaster is good, but do we have. There's no Time Walker Ancestral in this cube, right? That'd be crazy. I don't think it's Glint Sleeve Siphoner because I just don't think the energy is that prominent, right? So, still drawing a card every other turn, is that good? I don't know. You're just a regular Mitch. Get wrecked. I think it's Snapcaster. Seems good. I like an Eye Blights ending. I also like an Eldrazi Sky Spawner. Was that guy in my Pro Tour deck? I don't know. Hard to say. I'm pretty sure it's either Sky Spawner or Eye Blights ending. I think Eye Blights ending is really strong. I'll go with Eye Blade Sending. Doom Blade. Oh, Morphling? Is Morphling really good here? Morphling seems really strong. Probably better than Doom Blade, especially with an Ancient Tomb. Yeah, we're going to take Morphling here. Mana War? That seems pretty good in this cube. This cube, this cube seems kind of kind of dirtily. Uh, Morphling isn't good in any constructed formats, but I'm pretty sure it's just fine in the cube. Oh, Vraska's Contempt is fantastic. Alright, we're just going to be blue black here. Also, Vraska's and Eyeblades. Great with this first pick. Kind Buds, are you looking specifically at the green cards because of your, uh, we'll say pedigree, because of your pedigree? Sorry, 
Psychotog. Is Upheaval in the cube? Upheaval has to be in the cube, right? If Psychotog is. It's one of these two. I think Read the Bones is the more well-rounded card. I also like drawing cards in this format. Yeah, I'm just going to go with Read the Bones. This card seems terrible to me in this format. I have no idea. I don't ever want to put Demonic Consultation in my deck. Terror seems real strong. I like Essence Extraction, but it is double black, and it's also another three drop, and I think we want more two drops here. So, it also can't be cast. Oh, wow, the Glensleeve Siphoner came back? Yes, please. All right, this deck is looking pretty saucy. This is like a blue-black tempo list. I'm, I'm actually kind of liking this a lot. Wow. I think it's actually Ink Eyes. How many zombies are even in the cube? I don't know. I don't know how many, like, like you put a card like this in because the top eight's a pro tour, right? But, like, does that mean there's other enough zombies in the cube to even... It makes two three threes. Is that good? I'm just going to take Ink Eyes. I know Ink Eyes is good. Also, Morai is actually... Turn three Morai off of Ancient Tomb is pretty good. Turn two Morai off of a... A Signet is also pretty good. Shower of Temptation? That doesn't seem appropriate at all. I actually like all of these cards so far. Thunder, the th thunder. Earthshaker counter. There's a lot of red cards on our sideboard now. Oh, a Jace Bellerin and a Liliana. Both of these are very good three mana iterations of these planeswalkers. I also don't hate Warren Power Stone or Shriek Maw, but I don't think they're on the same level as these guys. Liliana does make zombies, but A, we didn't take Liliana's Master, and B, if we're making zombies with Liliana, we could care less if they're 3-3s. Three so... I think it's actually Jace here. We're heavier black, but we're definitely playing the blue. My concern is that I like both of Jace's abilities better than Liliana's abilities. Like, sometimes Liliana's ability is literally just put a loyalty counter on her and do nothing else. I'm gonna take the Jace. He's always gonna get, he's always drawing his cards. Ice and player actually seems pretty okay here. Profane Command can actually just win games. Enjoy your rock band karaoke. Sudden Death also pretty good, but I like Profane Command a lot. Oh, Kalita seems great here. <laughs> can we just can we just jam this guy again? We'll just find another green source. This card is very hard to deal with.
Aquajern, what's going on, buddy? Oh, Obnix would be great. I kind of like Reflecting Pool here. I like Preordain a lot, though. Preordain's pretty nice. Yeah, I think it's Preordain here. Urborg is also pretty nice, but I don't think it's better than the Preordain. Mox Diamond could be good. Agony Warp could be good. Do we have any Nameless Inversion synergies yet? I don't think so. Nay. I wonder if it's just Mox Diamond. It's not even Mountain in the Pack, Iron Chef, Sammy. My god. I want to take the Mox Diamond. I think it's a stronger pick, and I actually, I, I actively avoid Mox Diamond in a lot of situations. And I'm going to try not to do that here. Kalidus makes zombies. This is whenever you cast, though, so it doesn't even do it. I'm just going to take Order of the Ebon Hand. Phyrexian Scooter. Scooter. <laughs> God, what a ridiculous card name. Um, it's still a 5-5 five, five for, for 4. Is that good enough? I mean, you take 3. Is Trinket Mage better? We already have Mox Diamond. I wonder if we get something else. We could just take Volcanic Island. I don't hate taking a Volcanic Island here. It also lets us, if we get like a... Um, a Bloodstained Mire, we can actually play it. Hmm. Let's have a Runtime Artifact Creature land. I'm just going to take the Drain Life here. I could see us playing a Drain Life. Lotus Petal. And nothing else super playable. Scrap Heap Scrounger is actually not terrible for us. None of these cards are super impressive. Cadaverous Bloom again. Interesting. Our deck seems good. I wonder if Cloudfin Raptor is actually pretty good here. Order like Order will trigger, make it a one two. Then the Knight of Stromgold trigger, make it a two three. Then Scrap Heap Scrounger will trigger, make it a three four. Like all of our creatures pretty much trigger it. So Lightning and the thunder. Aren't Chef Sammy? Are you drunk, buddy? What are you saying right now? Mage, Goif. I have, you're just naming things. I don't even know what's going on. Wow, Trigger Mage came back? That's pretty impressive. Stupor, Recurring Nightmare. Sphinx and Muldrifter. I'll probably just take Muldrifter over Sphinx, right? Scalding Tarn lets us play Volcanic Island. Has no way to get a black right now. This pack is interesting. I just saying I don't mind. I just don't know what you're doing. We don't really have many ways to make them discard, so I don't really care about Stupor. I think it's one of these two. I think Nightmare is fine. But like we don't have many creatures that are like, "Oh, I, I'm going to this comes back into play." We don't have, we're not we're not a 
a recurring nightmare deck. This is five mana for a three five that loots three. This is five mana for a two two that draws two. This lets you play it for cheaper to get a better effect. This lets you pay it for more to get a better effect. I think Sphinx is actually better. I'm going to take the Muldrifter, though. I think the Sphinx might come back. Gravedigger and Cryptic Command. And by Gravedigger, I mean Grave Titan and also Scarab God. Wow, this pack is painful. We don't have a single blue-black land. I don't think we've seen that many either. I think Grave Titan is actually better than Scarab God, but I think Scarab God... I think Scarab God has the best chance of coming back. I don't like Triple Blue on Cryptic Command. I think I can actually agree to pass that. I'm going to take Grave Titan. I think Grave Titan's more less, less likely to wield than Scarab God. I like a Duress. I also like a Thirst, but we don't have any artifacts for Thirst, so we're just mostly discarding two. See, even Vile Aggregate's such a weird card to have in here. I think Duress is actually fine. We have Read the Bones, we have Jace, we have Glintsleaf Siphoner, Preordain, Snapcaster, Muldrifter. We actually have a good amount of card filtering and draw. I'm going to take the Duress. We do need some playables here. We're missing out on some playables. Knight of Infamy is pretty good. Grasp is pretty good. I could see playing Duress in the main deck. I think Grass is probably better than Knight, especially when we have double order, double, uh, we have enough for, uh, four mana, two mana, four, two mana. You know what? I'm done. We're not going to finish this sentence. It's not even worth it. Uh, I could see playing Chronicler, but like for six mana, you, you reserve it for two and it's just, I think it's kind of slow. I like Murderous Cut or Inquisition here. What do we have? We have Grasp, Terror, Eye Blight's Ending. Profane Command, Vraska's Contempt. We have actually a good amount of removal. Mana War to a lesser extent. I think I want to take the Inquisition here and just main deck that over the Duress. Maybe play both. God, I like Painful Truths. We can actually splash the Volcanic Island. <laughs> uh, I think this deck might be a Force Spike deck. Maybe just Force Spike them. Painful Truths for two is not the worst. It's so a bad read the bones. We could actually just play Volcanic Island and maybe hope it, hope for it. If we hit Mox Diamond as well, I think we're actually in for Painful Truths. Like, what do you even get with Tinker in this cube? We haven't seen anything. A Smoldering Marsh actually could be okay. It does make our Painful Truths better. And we have a ton of basics, so the odds of it coming into play untapped is pretty pretty high. We're not going to play Ring. We're not going to need another Transgress. We have Duress and Inquisition. I'm just going to take the Marsh for our... Verdant Catacombs does get Marsh, but actually all three of these are probably better. This is actually a pretty reasonable... Oh my god, come on. Oh, wow. The Sphinx came back. This is actually what I was thinking. I think people undervalue Sphinx, but anyone would snap pick a Drifter. So that was why we picked that. And none of the other guys came back, but I will take this. Inferno Titan. It's unlikely that Spire is going to ever give us a colored mana. There are a lot of decent red cards on our sideboard. Or Sugar Kenra, Dragon, Dragon Fodder, Rakdos, uh, Guild Mage. PNLR, Carry Zev, Inferno Titan, Rabble Master. Like we could actually cut the blue for the for black. That's interesting. There's an Arc Slogger. I 
I think her deck actually looks pretty good. I don't know if I want both of these. Actually, I could probably cut Scrap Heap Scrounger. Do we have any life gain outside of Kalidus and Veraska? Because we have Morai that's going to deal us damage. We have uh, Read the Bones, Painful Truths, Bitter Blossom, Glint Sleeve Siphoner. All these cards deal us some amount of damage. It's almost tempting to play the Drain Life. Do I ever play Brawl? Not really. I didn't even know Brawl was still a format. As far as snap targets go, we have a lot. Yeah, that's a good amount of snap targets. Yeah, I think this is fine. I think I don't think we have a problem with what's going on here. Five, six, no, I'll definitely go seven there. Six, seven, eight versus seven. Eight nine. I think that seems good. I would kill for like a watery grave or an underground sea or something. I'll keep this any blue any any blue source is pretty good. Even if it's a mox diamond, we can discard this to play preordain. I think if we're gonna lose to anything, it's probably gonna be our mana base. We have efficient removal. Sometimes in cube though, two colors is actually harder than three if you don't have the proper fixing. No, but we live the dream. I'm probably going to keep any... Oh, interesting. Probably going to bottom you and keep you. Nothing to play, huh? Oh, well then. That's a gentleman. This guy, unfortunately, not at his best against the uh, red-black deck. Vile Aggregate. Interesting. Get him. Oh, that's a dude, all right. So if we can actually get in next turn, we can ink eyes and get their blazing specter. That seems pretty good. I'm gonna play aggregate here, which means we have to trade this for the blazing specter if we hit a land. Hmm. Yeah, it seems worth it. All right, no gamble, no future. And we get to bounce up Mana War, which is pretty nice. Yeah, 
Yep. Never mind. <laughs> oh my god. The blowouts are real. We lose Ink Eyes in order for a reprisal. Yep. Maybe it was worth it. I mean, reprisal's pretty narrow. Like, what are you going to do? If we hit a black, we get Grave Titan. Whatever. Yep. Kalidus is no play. Fascinating. Yeah, I think it was definitely worth the risk. Like, Blazing Spectre puts us very, very far ahead. And uh, we also have an Ink Eyes on the board. So, I mean, there's like a handful of cards they can have that actually deal with a black creature with black, red, uh, a four pow a four toughness black creature with black, red, white up. I'm just going to keep killing this guy because, like, they're at 14 and they're not playing anything else. File aggregate, also pretty medium. When do they play that Mishra's Factory? Okay, just last turn, so it can't actually pump itself. We can trade with the Mishra's Factory, which is totally fine. I was like, I don't remember that card, so... Good to know. Yeah, also we wouldn't have been so liberal about using this if they didn't, if we didn't have Snapcaster in hand. This is also pretty good with uh, Profane Command in hand, because if we hit 8 mana, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, we can actually get it back if they kill it. Now we can't. We can deal 6 with the Profane Command, which is pretty decent. It's actually pretty nice. I'll choose me. So I assume they're going to kill this guy and then attack with Mishra's factory. That's my guess. Make a 2-2. Two -two. All right. Similar but different. Wow. All right. I don't think there's any jump knights. I don't think any of them get flight. I think they're all pump knights. Not a great use of Snapcaster, but I think keeping Jace alive is pretty good. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it's fine. Waste the mana. I'm gonna go watch wrestling, man. Unbelievable. Oh, they have the Mishra's factory. God, I always forget about that. That seems oh that seems real good. One, two, three, four, five, six. They can't actually activate this, which is nice. Um, and we can give Shroud, which is super nice. If we hit a land, we can actually go Profane Command for seven, unblockable, unblockable. All 
Alright, let's see if you got two removal spells, which I assume you do. <sighs> Why wouldn't you lead with Mortify so then you actually get the value off of Essence Extraction? That's weird. <laughs> never doesn't have it, never doesn't have both of it, I guess, is really what we're... Yeah, that's fine. You can have the Jace now. So, we're getting back Morphling. Dealing them five. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, they make a guy and then they activate Misha's factory. Whichever we put in the front, they kill, right? That seems pretty bad. Yeah, we're still keeping one up for Shroud, even though it does uh, decrease our clock. If we put them to five, then Morphling is lethal next turn. But I really don't want to take down Shroud. <laughs> for obvious reasons. Oh, boy. Yes, a young man, a Muslim duck. What up to Martin Fye? If only we had one more energy, we could draw an extra card, but alas, we do not. Oh, no attacks and no things. Sure, Liliana. Better search for a removal. Yep. What can we get that kills them? I don't know. That is a thing. We're probably just gonna kill Liliana here because we can't kill them on board. And 
And if we play Morai here, I mean, like, if they got a Damnation, though, it's really bad. I really want to extend anything else into a Damnation. Or like a Wrath of God. God, I really wish I had they got. They already have Terminus, so I'm pretty sure they're playing a control deck. I think we just hold the Morai. It does put us... It gives it puts Lethal on board, right? But then we have no recovery if they just wipe the board. And considering they have Urza's Factory and Misha's Factory, I don't see why they wouldn't wipe the board here. Oh yeah, they're wiping the board for sure. This seems worse than just uh, activating Misha's factory post-combat. Morphling gets negative one plus one. Mm-hmm. Gonna wipe the wipe the board, yeah. Do 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 do. Who do you think you are? Oh, I'm gonna wipe the board. Yep, you got it. Got a two turn clock on you, yeah. Hope you don't get lucky, 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 lucky. Oh, back-to-back -back Redlands. I'm pretty sure we don't have anything in the graveyard that's going to actually get us out of this situation. And by out of this, I mean having drawn back-to-back -back lands. I don't think we have anything we can cast here. So I'll just play Marsh. In case we draw, like... They make a guy, they attack for four, we go to six. I don't see the problem. Let me go to five. They can deal us like five out of nowhere or get rid of the Morai. We're in rough shape, but they don't really have a lot of turns to do that. If Frank's opponent has to get lucky, they will. This I know. Same. Same. Okay. Well, this is a dig. They didn't get lucky. Oh, that would have been good. We'd we draw. Eye Blight Sending on an island. Okay. Yep. Bringing in Drain Life. Hmm. Scrap Heap Scrounger seems good. So does Duress, actually. Terror seems pretty bad, right? Non artifact, non black. It can't kill their tokens or their other things. Let's leave Siphoner seems pretty terrible. What are you bringing? We brought in Drain Life, Scrap Heap, and Duress. Yeah, that seems good. I want to cut a non creature. We have 12 creatures, and a Bitter Blossom is kind of like a creature. So we brought in Drain Life for Terror. We brought in Scrounger for Glint Sleeve Siphoner. The problem with Guild Mage is we just don't have enough red mana. We have two red sources. So our odds of making multiple tokens is really not that high. And they don't really have enough creatures that I really want to use the first ability with. So. I think we can just do 41. You know how we do. Um... Well, none of these cards are good with Ancient Tomb. So we're probably just going to lead off on this guy and hope we hit another blue for this guy. Uh, we don't need Mox, but I mean, I think it's good. Like, if we hit a Mox, we'll easily discard Ancient Tomb to play Jace on turn two. And I feel like that's pretty strong.
doesn't do what we want it to do, but I'm still going to play this ombre. And dead. Okay. Well, Mishra's Factory is pretty obnoxious just because it's uh, really hard to deal with and it really challenges our Jace here. We also can't hit it with either of these cards, <laughs> presumably. for deal two lands that we're probably never going to use And like, just for those who don't know, Drain Life, you have to use black mana with it, so we can't just, you know, burn their face with the Drain Life. Any rule, any instance being really here would be great. Not terror, obviously, because it doesn't kill this, but boy, my kingdom for a grasp of darkness there. We're both going to draw here. Otherwise, we lose a Jace. Oh, that would have been nice. Man, Stupor and Blightning seems pretty good. Kokusho. Fascinating. That's better. Angel Mountain Swamp. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six. You are one planes away from playing that. Seems good. That's so gross, dude. Not only did they get the stupor and blightning us, our Inquisition was a blank. So, all right, they played a swamp. Seems good. God, this is so bad. Whatever, see if you hit something else. Rakdos, Guild Mage. So last turn, the Inquisition could have hit that guy. This turn, it cannot. Okay, so. Ugh. Worst order ever. So now you can actually go Guild Mage, make a, make a guy. Wanna vomit? Throw up in my mouth. Do -do -do -do. Who do you think you are? and throw up in your mouth read the bones yeah put some cards on the bottom cause they don't let us do anything and grave titan of our own is this even good probably god this is terrible this is just the worst man Magic is a hard game. Why wouldn't they play Guild Mage first so that they can actually, like, get my guy out of the way? Now we can actually trade here. Which is pretty... 
pretty good. So then I have Guild Mage, Angel, and Kokusho in hand. No, they don't. We got rid of the Kokusho. Why aren't they playing the Guild Mage? This is very strange. All right, my turn, I guess. So they have eight mana, and they have Angel of Despair in hand, so they're probably just going to top deck a white right here just to get rid of my Grave Titan. Or they just drew it. They just drew the answer. I can't tell. Here we go. Oh, they're just going to make a guy. Yeah, that's fine. Man, where's that infest? Can't block, doesn't do anything, can't cast. Okay. I think that went well. How about you guys? I'm going to keep this hand. I think it's fine, despite double black boy. Like, this guy, we have no black, so it's kind of like a mulligan. So you got to ask, is this six-card hand better than uh, any other random six-card hand we can draw? And I think it is. Although a black mana here would be great. Okay, well, we can play that at least, but falling behind in this matchup does not seem ideal. Although them leading off with double swamp is interesting. Okay, that was a sizable decision there. I think no man in existence could ever love a game more than I love Magic, and the only reason I say that is because there's no possible way someone can love a game more than this that screws them so frequently. Sure. I wonder what it's like to play all your land drops. What does this even do? Bounce this guy and then discard another card? I guess it's better than just discarding another card anyway. We're going to do it with a discard either way, so. Yep. Hmm. 
Right, we could have evoked. That's literally those were our two decisions. That was those were the decisions we had to make. Wow. Sick jam day tome. They have four cards in hand and a jam day tome on board? That's pretty good. Jam Detail is uh, expensive to draw cards, but in the late game it just takes over because you have nothing to to play, so you just get to use your mana for it. I think this I think the Mox Diamond is actually better than the Volcanic Island here. Because it can produce double, a second black, which we desperately need. I think we just take six here and really don't love our options. So we can deal them six. We take, f we take six. We go to two. We go to one. And then profane command could potentially kill them. I don't think it's a matter of defeating the purpose of the game. I, I don't think the purpose of the game is to literally have a resource system that's ingrained into your deck. I think what it does is it makes certain decks extremely powerful. Uh, if you're able to choose when you get to draw lands and when you don't get to draw lands, it makes mono red decks and aggressive decks extremely more powerful because they'll never ever draw more than two lands a game. Like, that's the big issue there. So, I mean, you know, unfortunately, the resource system is inherently baked into magic and... It is what it is, but... If we can get something back that costs four, but nothing is great. I guess we can just get a Mana War back and deal them four. Does that do anything? Doesn't seem terrible. I mean, they obviously have a removal spell in hand because they're sitting on it, right? Of course. Because they never don't. It's impossible for them to not have it. What's better, Morai here? And deal them four, put them to 11? Or kill a zombie and get Morai? I don't think the four damage is relevant here. I think the zombie. We can also just kill both of them and get a. I think it's actually kill both of them and get a zombie. Get a get a mana war back. I guess we could do this with three, right? We don't have to use all four. Uh, return a creature that'll fuck cost extra less. Yeah, we'll get back mana war and we'll kill this guy. Like, I like our odds of winning with Morphling, but Jam Day Tome in, in, a, in, a, in a deck that has this much removal is actually pretty problematic. 
as we saw last time, they only need like two removal spells to kill a morphling unless we draw. If we draw another land, I'm feeling okay about it. But Mall Drifter. Interesting. Actually, kind of like Grasp of Darkness here. Ooh, now I kind of like Inkeyes here. That's where we want to be. Thank you. Mecha Kaiji, thank you so much for the sub. Really appreciate it. Welcome, welcome. Ugh. Who do you think you are? Thunder. Thunder, thunder. Yep. Getting your best card is pretty good. Do we block? Probably. I don't care really about this guy. I'd rather just not take five when we're at eight. Sure. Yep. I mean, they had Liliana plus removal spell, which is like pretty hard to beat. So we go to three here. I'm gonna search for like a lightning. They're searching for lightning. Like we're at three, so. And they just jammed it home. They just, we're basically just dead here. They just go grab lightning and kill us. Gets her our last two cards as well, just for the. Uh, just for the lulls of it. Anything we want to change here? I don't think so. Like the deck actually seems fine. I don't. The problem is I don't know what's strong in this format. <laughs> like I don't know what's good. Like Angel of Despair is that a broken card? Liliana Vess is that a strong card? I don't know. Like there's really there's games where like Order of the Ebon Hand seem busted, and it's like oh well. Morai, I guess, is a really solid threat until they have four removal spells. I don't know. I, I, it's hard. This hard. This cube is is proven difficult to evaluate. Thank you. 
Chris, thank you so much for the, for the resub, buddy. I really appreciate it. Uh, this hand seems great. Inquisition and Glint Sleeve into, I don't know, cycle this guy, maybe. I guess we'll see what happens. Wall of Blossoms, Llanowar Elf, Basking Root Walla. We're going to take the Llanowar Elves. Who are you? <laughs> I don't know who you are, guy I friend requested. All right, buddy. You got it. All right. Forest into Rudy Tootie. What up, Falling? I will not use this. I do want both of these. I'll put you on the top and you on the top. Manasio. Wall's gone, island's gone. So you've drawn two cards since then, and you drew a card off the Wall of Blossoms. <sighs> well, this could be troublesome. So we are going to attack and try to hit another energy, and we're probably going to be able to because they are not blocking with their Imperious Perfect. Zero percent chance. Zero percent. Zero percent chance. There you go. And Misty. All right, so your, your hand is completely unknown to us. Four four draw two cards. <laughs> yeah, that's pretty good. That's not a bad uh that's not a bad investment. I don't know what's going on. Oh, it's a Pelucranos. Well, at least you can't kill my Kalidus. But I can't kill your Pelucranos. So we can either read the bones and keep up, try to keep up Terror. Which might be better. Yeah, let's, let's read them bones. Bottom. Also, this being on top lets us cast this with Kicker next. No, it doesn't. We know if it's three blue. Never mind. I'm just going to bottom both then. Grave Titan. Well, that's pretty good for next turn. I think I should go block 5504. Yeah, no attacks there.
What does Slaughter the Strong do? Is that the one where it's like... Destroy all creatures up to four... Yeah. With total power four or less. Yeah, that's... Interestingly confusing. Like, for some reason, you're like, each player chooses any more creatures that control total power four or less. Okay, well, god damn it. <laughs> it doesn't make any sense. So what can their Pelucranos do? Two damage right now? It's not terrible. Oh, wow, because it's power. That seems great, because you're like, oh, zero, 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 one, three. I'll keep all these. M. Sesson? Is that his name? That's a good dude. Island. Oh, all right. That's not bad. We're probably going to play Muldrifter to try to hit a land so that we can terror something. You're going to tap down this Grave Titan, ain't ya? Ain't ya? Well, I can't foresee us attacking here. That doesn't seem great. Land one time. Hey guys, welcome back. <laughs> oh, we have a good time. Huh. Attacked Architect of Thought. Attack Architect of Thought. Attack Architect of Thought. Attack Architect of Thought. Attack Architect of Thought and Attack Architect of Thought.
get this dude out of here. You're going to crew your Aether Sphere Harvester, undoubtedly. Oh, they didn't. Good deal for us, I guess. <laughs> Ew, you're skinny. Happy four months, buddy. Really appreciate it. MTG Pyro, 100 want to buy land bits. Man, if only they came a little bit earlier. I accept. I accept these land bits. <laughs> yeah, I might just actually pump that. Ah, he, he survives. I'm not terribly concerned with that. Okay, well, now we might just actually try to save Kalitas. Hmm. Lock you with two, huh? Well, Menace doesn't work that way, so you're going to have to throw another dude in front. There you go. Hmm. Well, I guess it doesn't matter who we do what to. This guy gets eaten. Jace dies, which is great. And then we're going to kill this guy. Do we want to keep the Kalidus is the question. God, none of their guys are dying here. I have to sneeze. We're actually in pretty good shape against this Jace next turn. We have Vraska's Contempt if we want to use it. But we also just have a million guys. Simic Sky Swallower one time. Mana War. Actually, I have no idea what they can get here that's going to really impact us. Acidic Slime seems obnoxious, especially when we have Grave Titan Kalidus out. They don't have a fifth land for it, though. Arrogant Worm. That's pretty good. Yep, they can actually discard Arrogant Worm and still search for a creature. And if they find any green land, they can also make an elf with the Empire is perfect. They're doing very well. Still want to land though, because then we can Vraska's Contempt and keep up a pump for Kalidus, which is nice. But right now, like I'm, yeah, that's not what we're looking for. I imagine they tap down Grave Titan. Yep. They have one, two, three, four, five blockers. We have five attackers, so they get to go kill. Mm. It's actually pretty good. Attack Jace the Mind Sculptor with everybody. Hmm. 
10 walking home in the dark rooting for you bits appreciate it buddy This seems pretty okay, especially if we get to drop like a Morai or a Bitter Blossom, or both, I think. I mean, they lose Imperius Perfect unless they want to have Jace take two, which is probably fine. See, the problem is if we actually... I'm surprised they didn't crew this to block here. Like, I don't think they know how this works. I was actually expecting them to crew. <laughs> and then we were going to kill this in response so they'd have less creatures. But they just didn't crew. And now it's just like, alright, well... Well, they just get to eat two guys for free. Which is worse. But we'll put a flyer out. We'll be alright. Oh man, this is something. Yeah, we have no responses here. We can't actually do anything, so. One three. How is it one three? We went two one in our first draft. Now we're oh one in this draft, and this is round two. I don't think one three works on any metric you you have. <sighs> Control magic. Phenomenal. Mana war. Mana war. Mana war. Take a million damage. Hmm. Did we not go two on the first draft? Yeah, 818. 1, 2, 2, 1, 2, 1. They figured out how to crew a creature. All right, seems good.
Yeah, that's fine. I'll let you block. <laughs> 80 want my next badge bits. Nice. MTG Pyro. Appreciate it, buddy. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. One more. Oh, wow. They're tapped out, right? Oh, I think we just sacked two zombies to make this guy a nine, a nine ten. And then they got they they have the sacrifice Jace to bounce it, but we gain like nine life. Or we can just exile one. This Grave Titan's probably gonna be a pain in the ass. Should have went with my first idea. Force of will. <sighs> Jesus. Force of will. How nice. Can they do anything aggressive here? No, I guess not. Force of will. <laughs> sure. Of course it's a swamp. We want a second we want a third blue so we can actually either kick this or play this guy with kicker. Or with and keep up a, a third blue to give him shroud. Uh so obviously we draw a swamp. Presumably we get to kill Jace here. What's profane command deal here? Like a million? Four? <laughs> <laughs> Not really close to a million. So four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. Not the best, but not the worst, I guess. I don't know. Yep, just gonna take it. What can we get back? Oh, we can get back Grave Titan, can't we? Yeah, that's pretty good if we can hit this hit the hit the six sixes sixes. Is that English? What's he saying right now?
we attack with both one two three four five six seven eight nine ten fifteen nineteen 20, 21, 22, if they make an elf and then attack with the elf. Yes, we need two more mana for a titan. We could get a Kalidus back. He could kill the Imperius, perfect. Get back Kalidus. Maybe that's good. <laughs> uh, okay, A, I don't know how we're going to Jason draw five with truths because uh, this is double blue and you can't play painful truths for three black. Also, we'd go down to uh, 19 and we'd probably die on their alpha. Where are you? You're being really loud and it's kind of obnoxious. They also have 11 cards, we have 13. Why is this taking so long? You thought it was pay X, draw X? Wow, that's a completely different card. Um, Profane Command is such a dumb card in Profane Command. <laughs> oh, boy. Oh, Horizon can't be Insta-Crack. That's interesting. I mean, we're at 22. I think we've kind of stabilized here. What on the earth? I'm going to bring in this duress. These guys are not that good in certain matchups. This is definitely one of them. I have no idea what happened. I have no idea how we won. I can see bringing in Guild Mage, but actually, Guild Mage is probably just better than Knight of Stromgold. It was a very strange concede. I'll we'll keep this hand. I have no idea what just happened there. What did I miss? They misclicked. They're like, oh, oh, dang it. I didn't mean to do that. Concede. Oh, dang it. I didn't mean to do that. Would you like to concede? Yes. Oh, three misclicks. All right. You got it. They have Jace, Jace, Control Magic. They have very three very good double blue. Oh, we're just playing that now. We can play Duress next turn. I just want to make sure we play it before turn four. To be fair, Kalidus definitely helped us uh, stay in that game with the amount of life we gained. All right, well. Oh, 
Huh. Well, if we had another, what is this, four mana? We can just play more eye here. Which I don't hate. God, we have Ancient Tomb, Bitter Blossom, and Morai. So we're at like 15. We go to 13. Next turn we go to 12. 11. We could also just kill this guy. Yeah, we're just going to play regular land here. We're not going to go crazy. Green Sun Zenith and three lands. Okay. Now well, that's good. That was unexciting. Okay. So, Slime Boy. We're just going to block here because I really don't feel like taking it. Forces them to pump. Whatever. And I don't feel like taking five here and going to ten when we have Bitter Blossom and Morai as, as two of our cards. Hmm. The funny thing is we actually have to play Morai now if we want to... Uh... Actually, we could just Jace Beller in here. Yeah, let's chase Beller in here. And pass. So we need to have light. I'm just hoping it's not a land on top because I want you to free land. Oh, Jace the Mind Sculptor. That guy's better than all. <laughs> so island is gone so we know all your hand we know you have banishing light a slime and a palooker nose and then island I assume this turn is going to be acidic slime dealing with Bitter Blossom, or they could just actually take out the Ancient Tomb. But if they want to keep their Basking Root Wall, and now they cannot Acidic Slime here. So they're probably just going to Bashing like Jace, which is weird because if you're going to do that, you might as well just attack my face. All right. I like how this is going. Hold on a second. Give me one second, guys. Okay, we're back. Oh, we're not going to attack here. We can go to second main. <laughs> oh, good times, good times. Can't cast this, can't cast this, can't cast this, can't cast this. Don't really want to cast this. I guess we'll just keep up an Eye Blight's ending. No, I actually kicked the cat out because I'm like, you're just being super obnoxious right now and I'm trying to work, so. Let's see, our Pelucranos, Banishing Light, Jace. We know all three of those. And Shaman on the top. Yep, now you gotta pay. 
Yep, Jace dies. Black mana one time so I can Vraska's Contempt that dude. Okay, so we need to have Pelucranos, Shaman, and Slime. You just go Acidic Slime, second Black Source. You just go Bounce Grave Titan, play Acidic Slime. I guess you have to do that, though. Wow, they didn't bounce Grave Titan. Okay. Well, we know these three cards are hovering near the top of your deck somewhere, so... Yep. Get rid of the Ancient Tomb. <laughs> That's the one we don't want. Sure. That was probably the better choice. Mongrel. Okay, so slime. So we know you have Polychronos and Shaman somewhere near the top. It's not a second black source at all. This is, though. But you know you still have Shaman, so that's kind of sad. 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. We can actually do you 14 here. Give these guys fear, deal you 4. 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. Pretty sure we actually just give this guy fear. Oh, we got the mongrel though. Actually, we kill mongrel for four. Ah, what's the most economical thing to do here? Like, the thing is, we have to get rid of Jace here. We have no creatures, so that's not an option. The life is not an option. Giving fear and killing a dude is really what we care about. Target player, target creature gets a negative X, kill you. One, two, this is currently three. Okay, let's make sure we're doing this correctly. Uh, choose target creature, and then choose up to X target creatures, sure. Oh, we're going to kill Jace, but I mean we're going to do it this way. Jace, Jace, your face.
Yep, Shaman to keep me off the mana. All right, so we know you have no cards left. So everything is everything is known. Swamp one to <laughs> my God, you son of a biscuit. Um, four, five, six, seven, eight. So you can actually, if you draw a land, let's say nine, uh, you can deal four, two and two. Yeah, that's fine. This guy has death touch too. God dang. It's brutal. Wow. Okay, so now you're down to probably three. Yeah, I don't care about that. Alright. Swamp one time. <laughs> so what they got three, one, two, three, four, five blockers. They obviously go here and then they go this guy pumps, kill, 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 kill. They just take two. Yeah, we'll just attack with this guy. It's morphling lethal. Yeah, we'll just play morphling. Yeah, now they're on now they're on the dead plan. Alright, so one one. Not too bad. You kinda have to alpha here. Okay, I guess they're just giving up. Oh, they have a Polychronos, so never mind. I don't know how magic thank God. So give you float. Oh, all right. They didn't even try to monstrous. Man, this has been weird. All right, taking one of these guys out. The rest is probably better in the long run. I don't know. I wish I knew where all these swamps were. Oh, uh, this thing actually seems pretty good, despite the lack of second black. All right, let's see what we got here. Scrounger, sword, five lands. Mm, get rid of Scrounger. You don't actually have any creatures. The sword is not a uh, terrible one against us because we have not those colors and we should also be in a position to snap back this inquisition and take the sword at some point temple of milady that was a good draw what would you do with a drunken Saturday in the morning swamp you'll do that more eye one time so I could take two a turn actually that's pretty okay burn 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 I 
island. Well, they kept a card on top. Sword. Well, we have nothing to do here, so we're just going to snap back Inquisition and see what happens. Voltaic Key, don't care. Deceiver Exarch, and Eternal Witness. Deceiver Exarch is actually kind of scary. Eternal Witness gets anything else back, though, so I might as well just take the Eternal Witness, right? I feel like we're in good shape here. Mountain was the one card we did not know about. All right, so you have Deceiver, Exarch, Forest, and Spire in hand. Imagine you tap down the Glen Sleeve. No. Okay. Well, we're not going to walk into a Deceiver Exarch. Sure. Yeah, it's fine. All right. So we know you have Forest and Spire in hand. Matthew Ori, do you not get notifications when I go live, buddy? Did you play Forest? So you have one random card. And you're not equipping this Deceiver Exarch to attack, so that's not your plan. All right, fascinating. Guy did a little boogie. Pestermite. No, nothing. All right. One, two, three, four, five, six. We can deal four to the face. No, you deal five. Five to the dome piece. So we could have put them to three, give it gave Snapcaster uh flair flare. <sighs> you got it. This is a chump block if I ever saw one. How backed up are you? Uh, not that backed up at all, actually. Uh, I think this week is free. I have some emails in the queue, but no one's nothing finalized. So, oh, that didn't seem like a. I think they're dead, right? <laughs> and we get to draw an extra card here. Yeah, let's do that. And we get to play around like mana leak and yeah, I mean they got one mana, but we could just wait here, right? Uh, 
Yeah, I don't think they need to see profane command. I think Rakdos skills mage has just been straight up better than these guys in most of the matches. Like, if they do have, like, Kiki G here or something, it, it just kills them. It just kills the guy. And if they have Splinter Twin, it just gives us another way to uh, kill Deceiver Exarch if we happen to have 8 mana. Which is a, a tall order, but... I like this hand a lot, actually. Like that. Portal, Demir Signet, Cranial Plating. And Processor, not Portal. I was thinking of course of Portal. I'll take the Signet here. I'm not too scared about Processor. Alright, well, you found another Signet anyway, but. Here comes a land processor. <laughs> oh god. That's actually pretty okay. Gives you a turn. Snapcaster. Oh no. I think we actually have to mold drifter here. We just want to make sure our options are. Oh no. Uh, cast the evoke. I think this 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 curve is actually pretty good here. They're gonna play processor. I can't actually. I'm not actually sure how much they're gonna process for here. You process for like 10. Could be safe. Why is this full take key tapped? All right. Six is what I was thinking because each uh, they have four artifacts, so it all it already makes them ten power. No, that was pretty good. But I mean, like they're gonna have to spend next turn making a guy, then they take six, and then I think they're real close to dead with a profane. Actually, we can bounce this guy and deal nine. Ooh, gross. What is this? Five mana. I have no idea what this is. Thought cast. Saw your CFB video and liked it? When was this? I mean, I stopped writing. I wrote for CFB for like two years, and then I stopped writing for them in December. So I have no idea what video you saw or when it came out. But it was likely... Oh, wow. Wow. Yeah, that's pretty brutal.
Oh, good games. Jeez. Thank you guys so much for watching. I really appreciate it. Slam those like and subscribe buttons. Check me out on Twitch and Patreon. Both of the links are in the description below. And I'll see you guys next time. Really appreciate it.